What's up guys, I'm Pablo Lopez, aka The Pulpo Lopez, a professional sim racer for Team Forzilla, and today we have a new product from the next level racing family, the HF8 Aptic Feedback Gaming Pad. What is this? Not a game pad as you may think, but a pad with 8 vibrator motors that you put in top of your seat to get aptic feedback from your simulator, your preferred game or even movies or music. Let's get into it! Next Level Racing is setting up a giveaway on glint.io, I have the links in the description so check it out! From the box you will get the instruction manual, the power supply and the actual HF8 gaming pad with some cables and strap hanging out from it. Those cables are the power connector, the remote control and USB cable and two mini jack connectors, one female and one male. It's compatible with PC, Xbox, Playstation and any 3.5mm audio jack device. It's a pad with distributed cushions all over it, 5 on top and 3 on bottom, made of a soft material similar to perforated leather. Those cushions contain the logo on top and the 8 vibration motors, 4 on top and 4 on bottom in this layout. After connecting everything, you power it on with the remote control by clicking the red button. It also increases or decreases the overall gain of the motors, as well as changes mode between PC or console slash sound capture mode with a long press. I just focus on the PC mode as I will use it for my racing simulator. You don't need any of the 3.5mm jack connectors for this. For the PC mode you need a software called NLR HFS, Next Level Racing Aptic Feedback System. On it, you can select the different compatible games or simulators and activate or change intensity all the different parameters from the sim, assigning them to the vibration motors to your liking. For example, gear changes to every motor or the left suspension to every left side motor. Engine RPMs, speed, braking, ground effects and so on. Personally, I only set 4 of these parameters. RPMs, gear change, ground effects and suspension. I like it like this because you can feel all the RPMs as they go up the range, a nice kick when you get a gear change and really nicely you can feel all the rumble strips as you go over them and a lot of information from the suspension when you get over bumps or even if you go off track. Now we get into the pros and cons. For a pro you will get a really nice aptitude feedback system that fits into your chair or your racing seat quite nicely. It's pretty fast and quite strong, it's not noisy, you can hear it, but it's ok, with the headset you will not hear them. All the compatibility with the games and racing simulators is nice, you have a lot of configuration parameters for it, it's cheaper than some other famous aptic feedback systems, and it has more direct feeling of the vibrations because you literally sit into it. For the downs, if you already have your racing seat, wheel and pedals set up to the millimeters for your best fit. If you put this gaming pad, you will get higher and closer to the wheel so will need to adjust your position. Ground effects could cut the power of the vibrations faster for my liking because as you get into a rumble strip it's really responsive but after you get out of it you get a little delay till the vibration motors cut the power. So I think it's something from the software or maybe it's as intended. Sometimes after resetting the car I lost all the feedback and I had to reconnect it to get it again, but I guess that is because the software is still on beta. And also would be nice for it to be compatible with other aptic feedback system software like SimHub to have a little bit more personalization of the effects. 
Overall, a nice product from Next Level Racing that I will use in my sim racing time. It gets you a level up in immersion. I love to feel the RPMs, the gear shifts, the rumble strips and bumps. It adds to the experience, to be honest. It's really comfy as well, especially if you have the ES1 seat. A must have if you do, because it will help in long sim sessions. And the price point is on par with some DIY solutions and cheaper than other haptic feedback systems. So it's Pulpo approved. For your information, this review is not paid. I got the product for free though, and all opinions are my own. I hope you understand. See you on track!